Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays. Man, I love this time of year. Lots of good things happening. Time with the family, eating the delicious foods. We're not quite there yet, but soon we will all start all of our health and fitness commitments. Enjoy, enjoy the enjoy the flavor for a couple more days. Like I can get in such a good headspace about mm-hmm. like it's marketing. Like don't and I already am finding myself like, well, do I want to do this keto green sixteen? No, you don't. Now, listen, I am all, that sounds so contradictory if you know me, because I am all for the challenge. I am all for push yourself. I'm all for, hey, suck it up. You're in charge of you, all these things. And I think you should make some huge commitments to become who you want to become and who you feel called and gifted to become. But I don't think you should set some sort of goal that you're like, oh, I hate what I just committed to. You You shouldn't do that. You should be so fired up about, who that would help you be Mm. for you and other people that it helps you succeed as opposed to you're like at the end of this 30 days, I'm going to binge so hard. Right. So anyway, we'll get into that. That will be a lot of what we talk about today is what's going on in real estate in 2024. What we expect as a matter of fact, uh, I believe there might be a little bit of a report card on uh, 2023, Uh, but also what's happening in Dallas, Fort Worth, not just real estate focus, but what's happening economically? What's the year ahead likely to look like? What decisions are we potentially making? And then, you know, we'll talk a little bit about the biz, the business of residential real estate. We're looking to hire some folks. People are bailing out of the industry. Headlines are saying it's doomsday or many, many more are saying that this year could be really good. could be really exciting. Well, what's true and what's not? Courtney, feels like we do that every Saturday here, 3 to 4 p.m. on DFW Real Estate Weekly on WBAP. But um, we're going to do the New Year's version, looking forward, maybe a little bit of looking back. We'll take your questions, 214-310-0008. You don't even have to call. You can call, but you can certainly text as well. 214-310-0008 or online at? That's your mighty team.com. We are in the Keen Landscaping Studios, and the first segment of the show is always brought to you by Patrick Glaros and his mortgage team at Cardinal Financial. You can find them online at patrickglaros.com. Only guy I've ever used for mortgage, only person I've ever used for mortgages, and I've been using them for 20 plus years. Did multiple transactions with him this year. Always smooth, always. Actually, one of them wasn't smooth, but it wasn't their fault. It was a attorney thing. And they jumped on the cell phone in the middle of a closing, solved it, smoothed it out for us, made what was one of the f- most frustrating days of my 2023 a little bit better. Had nothing to do with them, all the other frustrating stuff. But PatrickGlaros.com, real live people right here in town, the best in the business for residential mortgage, PatrickGlaros.com. All right, we got all sorts of fun stuff to get into today. I hope you had a great Christmas. I hope you're still getting to linger in your pajamas <clears throat> and uh, spend time with family. I hope you're eating incredible leftovers and uh, there's still some pie left or whatever you're into. But we're going to dive a lot into what's coming in the year ahead, certainly in the residential real estate part of things, but also in the making 2024 a really incredible year for your real estate, your family, your life, your wealth building, because those are the things that fire us up. And uh, we want to share what we can share with you. So that's what we got. You're listening to DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti. If you haven't checked out the podcast, you should be doing that because you can listen to the show on demand as well as bonus episodes that we drop on topics like living on land, having a giant backyard, building wealth through real estate, investing, lowering your property taxes, enjoying your home more, protecting your children from being able to own real estate in the future and thousands of other topics. So that's the podcast also called DFW Real Estate Weekly with Todd Tremonti, so it's easy to find, on all the platforms that you watch podcasts on. And then, of course, you want to check out the YouTube channel where, again, you can check out the radio shows as well as hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of other pieces of educational, helpful, encouraging, and from time to time, funny content. You can find the YouTube channel and all that jazz on the website at TodTremontiTeam.com. ToddTremontiTeam.com. Now, my son is almost to the age where his voice is not sounding like this anymore. ToddTremontiTeam.com. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but it doesn't sound like ToddTremontiTeam.com anymore. So sweet. Now, these two... We can't re-record it. No. Google Todd Tremonti and check out over 
Seven hundred five star reviews. I mean, I'll never recover. If she had said it more smooth than that, it would be half as awesome. Oh, you know? God. she's so precious. Find out what your home would sell for yeah. right now in under a minute at TajmaniTeam dot com. That one is confident, y'all. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> she is delightful. Allie's ready to rock. She's smart. God, I'm so, I'm in so much trouble. All right. She really is. If you have questions, two one four three one zero 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 eight. Call or text. All right. Where are we going? What What do we want to do this New Year's Eve? Eve? What day is it? I don't even. Eve Eve. Eve, it's Eve. New Year's Adam. It's New Year's. That I felt like a lot of people were saying that. I've this never year. heard that more than Adam I've heard came it before ever. Eve. I got yeah. you. Um, never once in my life. I've just missed oh, really? that, missed that whole joke. <laughs> it's kind of but a whole I'm, thing. I'm excited that I'm here. Christmas now. Adam. I'm excited that I am now part of the joke. Um, listen, la- before we move forward, let's take a minute to look back. Last okay. year mm-hmm. was full of a ton of uncertainty. We were constantly like navigating what? people not knowing what to do. And that's, what- the, that's the sound for 2020, yeah. 2022, and 2023. What? What? Honestly. Hey, let's make plans. What? 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 How? Which yeah. is a great like precursor to this question of like what are you how are you supposed to make these big decisions when you don't understand what's going on in the market and all the uncertainty and all i mean we're trying to bring clarity and you sit on a throne of lies (laughs) and inform people uh because what's true it's just chaos in the news because it's clickable true story now the, I, I mean, I, I spoke, golly, radio, conferences, workshops, videos, mm-hmm. stages, whatever, all year long about the massive amounts of uncertainty, anxiety, fear, anger, lack of clarity. And by the way, I'm not just talking about consumers. I'm talking about real estate agents, brokers, CEOs, finance companies, billion dollar investors. That was the tone. You, I mean, you were in the room a lot of times. You're in the room with hundreds of real estate agents, and I'm talking about anger, weary, fear, uncertainty, and they're nodding. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, I feel that. Mm-hmm. Yes, help me. So it's not just the buyers and the sellers and the renters and the investors and the 20 somethings that are angry about the world they're graduating and launching out into. Look, it was across the board uncertainty across the board like i want to do this but i think it might be stupid to do that i want to do that and i even am capable and prepared and financially and lifestyle ready but it feels like i might look like an idiot if i do like that was the tone of the year now i would argue with facts by the way that there has been some progress made in the since thanksgiving there are some astute Observers, not your average, you know, I go to work, I take care of my family, I don't have time and energy to focus on real estate and economic data. But there are a lot of people, not the majority, but a lot that are going, things are changing a little bit. Interest rates have moved a little bit. The Fed chairman's talking a little bit. The stock market's moving a little bit. You know, real estate information's moved a little bit. The job data's you know, not it's bad, which is good, complicated answer, but okay. There is some optimism moving into 2024 because of what's happened in just the last six or seven weeks. Now, what is that? What are those things causing that optimism? Uh, we, we we'll get into that here in a second before I do though, I believe there's a legitimacy to the optimism that has recently entered our market. So let me recap all that here really quickly. 2023 could be summarized by uh, lack of clarity, anxiety, frustration, anger, and an overall sense of I'm not sure if I should do what I want to do. I'm not sure if what I want to do is wise. Uh, I might be prepared. I might not be. I don't even know what prepared looks like. So 2023, let's just put the label of like uncertainty. 
Okay, 2024 looks more optimistic from what we're seeing, hearing, and experiencing since Thanksgiving. Okay, so there's your oversimplified summaries. Now, is that legitimate? I believe most of it is legitimate, not all of it, because there is some like runaway blind optimism. Like, oh, interest rates will be back where they were by summer. There's no legitimate data out there that I trust that says that or that leads me to expect or guess at that even. I do not think that's going to happen. Now, here's what I do think is likely to happen. This is where I could get myself in big time trouble because people are like, you said this, right? I do believe there will be more optimism in the marketplace, in the real estate marketplace and other marketplaces in 24, at least the first half of 2024, than there was in 2023 and the majority of 2022. Now, let me explain why. Some of that has to do with just a better understanding of the market, right? So it, sometimes it's like nothing got better. People just got more comfortable with it. They're like, okay, it is the way it is. It's not going to change. Now I've got to make a decision. I've been waiting for change. Change isn't coming. It is what it is. This is the new normal. I hate that phrase. This is the new normal. And now I've got to make my decision in the new normal. I'm not waiting anymore. I want what I want. I need what I need. I have to do something. So there's that part of that leads to action, which leads to a little more optimism. There's also some positive movement, right? So interest rates have come down for the average person from the low eights to the high, high sixes, maybe low sevens. That's a big giant move. It's a interest rate full percentage point or more for the average person. That's a big deal. So we're going to see more people buy, some more people refinance, some more people sell, some more people do both, some more people invest. And by the way, I don't know how to define some, 5%, 10%. But those are really big numbers in a market as big as Dallas-Fort Worth. And so it's just like putting grease on the wheels and getting the market going a little bit more. And because there's more activity, activity leads to activity. You heard your neighbor bought. You feel a little more comfortable to buy. You hear some people thinking about selling. You're like, okay, I won't be the only one. So all that leads to the needle moving more towards action, optimism, opportunity in 2024. And it sounds like like the feds have said like there won't be like, this is kind of where we're going to land. <laughs> like, well, it Listen, sounds like. For, I love you no matter what, Courtney. <laughs> but when you say the feds, it, oh my, it's like a, is it a mob movie? Are the feds, the, are the FBI coming? Are they, is there cameras? Or is it the Federal Reserve? I feel the same way. It's so funny. <laughs> so the Federal Reserve <laughs> Chairman, Bernanke. Now, the Federal Reserve Chairman has said, we will likely reduce the federal funds rate, the bank borrowing rate, interbank borrowing rate, uh -huh. three times over all of 2024. Oh. Yeah, they've they've said that. Now I just, thought they'd kind of landed so the plane. Basically what they said all last year is we will raise until we see the economy slow down. Uh, they said that in different words. Uh, sure. Right? Now what they've said late, 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 late 23, like in the last few weeks, is okay, we believe we are seeing the results we were looking for mostly not mm -hmm. perfectly so we expect we will not be raising anymore and we will likely reduce that interbank borrowing rate which is not mortgage rates but usually leads to mortgage rates following suit we will lower that probably three times throughout the entire calendar year of 2024 now that could be all in the fourth quarter next year most people think it will be probably more than more than one of those in the first half of the year. Most people don't care about that, but there's mortgage rates have responded favorably. The stock market has responded mostly favorably to that. There have been a lot of ups, few downs, some over over excitement and corrections. But generally, it looks like people are believing, I don't know if we should, but believing that we are solving some of the inflation problem and we'll try to get the economy kind of going again. We were in like sixth gear, two feet on the gas pedal, flying down the highway. It looks like we are trying, which is very difficult to do, to get back into like we are at or near the speed limit cruising. Usually it's not that smooth of a transition, but that's what we're trying to get back to. So we're trying to get things going again uh, without overdoing it again. And so there's reason for optimism.
I think you'll see more people buy and sell homes. We have seen an uptick just in the last two weeks where people are more likely to talk. Hey, I think we are going to go ahead and buy now. I think mm -hmm. we're ready. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to sell and buy now. Hey, at the first of the year, we're going to be ready to make a move. Let's get together. So we are scheduling what we call free strategy sessions here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. We've made available almost every afternoon in the entire month of January to do what we call a free strategy session. Free of charge, meaning you don't have to pay us anything. Also free of obligation. You don't have to sign any documentation or hire us exclusively. Now you can if you're ready to do something, but you don't have to. And we will give you 30 minutes to 90 minutes, most likely face-to-face -face in our Richardson office or our Fort Worth office. Or we could do a Zoom or if we really need to, we could just do a phone call. But if you're thinking about buying, selling, investing, refinancing, remodeling, anything like that in 2024 or beyond, uh, we would be happy as a gift to give you 30 to 90 minutes of our professional expert time. Obviously, if you're going to buy or sell, we would like an opportunity to earn your business. But if we're not a fit, we'll help you find somebody that is a fit. If we are a fit, we guarantee to sell your house over the average price and under the average time. And we guarantee to save you at least $5,000 throughout the purchase process. If you're doing both, what a bonus. So go to toddtremonteteam.com. That's toddtremonteteam.com, or you can just Google Todd Tremonti, spell it as best you can, call any phone number, text any phone number, fill out any form, click any button. Whatever your comfort level of communication is right now, we'll meet you there. But what I strongly recommend you do is right now text... 214-310-0008. Just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008. And we will gladly sit down with you or a friend or a family member or a neighbor. Feel free to share that phone number, 214-310-0008. And uh, you'll get 30 minutes to 90 minutes. If we meet in person, we'll buy you a cup of coffee or a Coke or a water, Topo Chico, whatever you're into, and answer any questions you have about rates or appreciation or remodel costs or housing inventory or that neighborhood or that school district or whatever we can ethically help you with as a real estate agent or broker. Um, and our people are all full-time, fully dedicated, the best trained agents on the planet, in my opinion, helping me train other agents all over North America. And we will answer your questions and provide clarity and more certainty and a game plan. So whether you're planning to move in two weeks or two months or two years, you just have a better 2024. You're more confident, you're more clear, you're more certain, and you're not like at the mercy of all these headlines that are trying to scare you or drive activity that isn't in your best interest. So just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008. Or if you're ready to talk right now, just call 214-310-0008. Or as always, you can just go online too. ToddTremontiTeam.com. ToddTremontiTeam.com. All right. What else do the people have to know? Full price, Courtney. <clears throat> well, I guess, like, uh, I'm curious what were your highlights last year? Personally? Yeah. Listen, we um, tore down our house in 2022. And then the bulk of really didn't start building like super going up. You know, we tore down, we cleared the lot, we poured the slab and all that. But in late January or February of 23, wild. we started framing. And it pretty incredibly moved in in October, right? Like the I, weekend before we I hosted mean, a conference because we're insane. <laughs> but in a matter of 10 months. It's wild. Our incredible builder, who I will gladly introduce anybody to, just text me 214-310-0008. It's one of our most popular podcasts, your interview with him. Oh, yeah. Well, he came on the show. Yeah. And we'll have, we'll probably have him on again soon. But 214-310-0008, if you want to know like tons of details about what we did. Also, just go to the YouTube channel. Go to TatraMoneyTeam.com, click videos. You can find the YouTube channel where we've got videos of kind of that whole journey. And more coming, by the way. But that was one of the massive highlights um, we made some incredible hires here at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. I mean, we added in this year, we added, Gib we added Gibson, who works with buyers. We added Grady, who works with buyers. We added Jason, who's most likely working only with buyers. Um, we have one new team member joining us in two weeks. So we technically 
added him before, but you know, not fully, fully here. He's going to be incredible. We've known him for a long time. Is he doing sellers? We'll see. I okay. think so. Probably. Don't tell him that. Even though we just said it publicly no. everywhere. It's fine. Um, and um, it's been, I mean, lots of amazing, fun experiences with my wife and my kids this year. A ton of like investment in in our church in our community group some hard things this year but getting through hard things is better than not having hard things you know what i mean totally like i would rather this year have less hard things but the benefit the growth that comes with like dealing with the crud of life with people that you really love in the in the whole church body as well as people i serve with as well as the people we run and do life with every day it's been it was a great year it was a hard year i mean just an excessive amount of stupid stuff, but that's life. It's so weird. <clears throat> like the way that the hard and the good mm-hmm. coincide. It's almost like that's exactly what God tells us. Is I now. know, but in it's this just world, there will be troubles. trouble, but take heart for I have overcome the world. Mm-hmm. You know what? I have to remind myself. I have a, I have a buddy, fraternity brother from college. His name is Eric Steele. Gosh, I hope somehow you're listening right now, Eric. If you are, text me. Um, who you, we used to be really bad at most intramural sports. We were good at flag football and we were great at softball. We were really bad at everything else, <clears throat> and we would just get destroyed by these bigger fraternities that were way more athletic. And at the end, we would lose like a basketball game, like fifty-seven to nine. It's tough. At the end, and he'd be like, "Hey." What's the score, guys? And everybody would just like <laughs> begrudgingly laugh. And it's one oh God. He would be like, it's one oh God. God wins, boys. It's one oh God. Aww. That was the deal. Like, hey, at the end of this day, like, mm. saved by grace. And none of this stuff is eternal. And that was our was a Christian fraternity. It was That's the way we rolled. But Bucks, Brothers Under Christ, by the way, if you're out there, fellas, Bucks. Um, but that was the deal. So after a year like 2023, where like lots of, annoyingly hard stuff happen, but you can remind yourself of the goodness of the growth and the connection and the depth. You're like, Hey, it's one. Oh God. It's good Todd. We win. All right. Hey, we're in the keen landscaping studios and you need to know this time of year, you're probably not real thrilled about your landscaping because it probably looks pretty wet and cold and maybe dead. Um, reach out to keen landscaping. Now's the time. Like, you know, I always say like the worst heat of the summer and the ugliest part of winter. That's when I like to get my landscaping done so that when things warm up in the springtime, I'm ready to rock. I get to enjoy it instead of I'm working on it and it's not cleaned up, tidied up, healthy and ready until the heat of the summer. Right. So now is the time before they get crazy busy. When things are dormant, go to keenlandscaping.com, K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com. Uh, ask for Alan or Ben, either one. Tell them Todd Tremonti sent you. Also, you need to know that this is the this is the best time of year, in my opinion, to shop your insurance and all of those things that you pay for annually or monthly where you could save some money, you could increase your coverage, you could reevaluate what you're trying to protect and all those things. So I want you to go to uh, just email DP, dp.lambert at goosehead.com. That's dp.lambert at goosehead.com. That's who I use. That's who the vast majority of our office and our clients use and save a ton of money and increase coverage every year. dp.lambert at goosehead.com. If you're thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate in the year ahead, later in the show, we're going to talk about exactly what we think is going to happen in 2024. But if you want a customized sit down, we'll get you a free strategy session, 30 to 90 minutes with our team. Just text the word strategy, 214-310-0008 or call us, 214-310-0008 or... Touchmoneyteam.com. Happy New Year, people. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Man, I hope you are enjoying time with friends, family, and uh, loved ones. But I also hope that you are looking forward with excitement and optimism, ambition, I might say, to create the life you want to live for you and your family, whether that involves your home or your finances or your job or your health or your recreation. I hope you're doing that. A, in a way that works for you, but B, I hope it, hope you're open to outside input, other people's approaches and methodology that might stretch you and grow you in a way that your life is just better and more enjoyable, more purposeful, uh, more growth oriented. And I don't mean growth like, you know, more and bigger is always better, but I mean more of what you love, 
more of what makes you feel great, more of what makes you feel purposeful. Um, I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about it, but I think one of the biggest pivotal moments in my life was really more of a year than a moment. It was absolutely tied to my faith. Uh, I mean, it was all about my faith, but it was a year of discovering who I really am and what I really care about and purpose other than Jesus, the word I would put on it is purpose, right? I was like, as a teenager in high school, I really had pretty much everything a high school person could want. Parents who love me, that wasn't perfect, but parents who love me, a good job, you know, had a little money in my pocket. I had a pretty good job for a high school kid. I was on the baseball team. I was president of student council. I kind of dated whatever girl I, you know, wanted. All right. Literally like, but, 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 but if you're 17, you're like, check, check, check. Right. But I'm sitting there going, there's got to be more than this. Mm -hmm. Like this, this is cool, but it's also kind of boring. Now, I'm not trying to be cocky. I'm saying I'm wired in a way where I'm so achievement, selfish, pridefully oriented that I'm like, if, my, if the rest of my life is going to be about just more winning, more trying to be better than other people, more trying to have what you're supposed to have, I don't know if I want it which at 17 is kind of a scary thought, right? And, you know, but for Jesus, other than someone telling me, hey, it's not all about you. I think I would have headed, I was heading in a really rough, dangerous, scary direction. Now, of course, if you listen to the show for long, you know that, that my life is entirely about Jesus. And I hope that you don't remember my name. I hope that somehow, some way, the value that I can bring to you or the way I might make you think or the way I live would point you towards Jesus and you can decide whatever you want about Jesus. But I pray that you would do business with him. Now, um, moving into a broader spectrum of how you may look forward to 2024 and achieving your goals and your real estate, your wealth building, your family, your health, all those things. Um, you know, I pray that you just get an honest look at who you are and who you want to be and who you think you're supposed to be, what gifts you have and that you really enjoy using and you get to do that more. But I also hope that you will face the discomfort of, hey, wherever you would say, I'm not there yet, make some decisions about this year, I'm going to get a heck of a lot closer. I'm going to change the job. I'm going to change the way I eat. I'm going to change the way I, I move my body. I'm going to change the people I surround myself with. I'm going to change the way I talk to the people I care about. I'm going to change the way I invest in others or you know, steward my financial resources or my time or my talent or my relationships or whatever that is. I don't, whatever part of your life you're least happy with, I pray you make progress. And that may be something that currently feels completely out of your control. But my hope for you is that you find a way to take a little bit more control over it, even if it's just the way you're responding to it, because there are things that are out of our control. I, I respect that. I appreciate that. There are things that happen that we don't choose. Now, the first part of the show is always brought to you by PatrickGlaros.com. My buddy Patrick Glaros, who has been for the entirety of my 20 plus year real estate career, the most trusted mortgage professor professional in my life. Go to PatrickGlaros.com. He's got a great team over there that operates a lot like our team, where he's putting people in position to use their God-given gifts and abilities to really use mortgage lending as their life as their ministry, as their gift to the world to share their gifts and be purposeful and be proud of what they do every day, but also help you, you know, borrow money to grow wealth, to provide for your family, to have a place to live and maybe have a place for other people to live. So patrickglaros.com. Now, what is on the tip of your tongue, Courtney? What must we talk about? Well, before we like move forward to like what we think is going to happen in this next year and just our predictions, I'm curious to hear from you on what you think that we got right this past year and how we, did we help people? Did we bring clarity? Did we, what did we get right about the market? Did we? I don't did know. We? I guess. I, didn't, didn't we? Let us know. 214-310-0008. Were we a resource for you this year? Was the show, was the content, was the podcast, was the YouTube channel helpful for you? Text us. 214-310-0008. Let us know if what we're doing has been helpful for you. The feedback I get is yes. And I can tell you, like, academically, we, we saw 2023 very well at the end of 2022. Did we, were we exactly right on every single thing? 
Uh, I'm sure we were not. I can't think of any significant note that we missed. We were very, very early. If you recall, I spent the bulk of the year, especially heavily early in the year, saying this year is actually way more logical than we've seen in a long time. And what I meant by that is if you had a great house marketed really, really well, priced intelligently, you could break all-time sales records in 2023. And we help like 90-something people do that, selling their house. Um, on the buy side, if you would allow yourself to be patient enough to move quickly when you needed to, there were some really great purchases that happened. And we saw that happen all year long. We told people that we did not think interest rates were coming down at all in 2023. And when we said at all, we meant like significantly. We were right up until Thanksgiving. And so, yes, late this year, we saw almost an in, a full point come down from the highest rates we had seen in more than a decade. So I would say we were generally right about that. You know, the last so far, four or five weeks of the year, we've seen some movement. So we weren't exactly right about that. But the entire traditional buying heavy moving season of the year, we were, we were pretty spot on on that. But we also said some things that I still feel like not enough people were listening to, which is when everyone else is panicking and not making a decision, there's often a massive opportunity for you to not panic and make a decision. And time is running out on that. So that's my quick assessment of how we did in 2023. And I'm still pleading with people to make use of that information before it changes. Now, looking forward to 2024, we can do more detail in a minute. But I think you're going to see a lot more people get off the couch, get off the fence, and get back into the marketplace. That's not happening in mass yet, mostly because of the holidays. We're seeing a lot of people that are like, you know what? Let's talk in January. I'm ready. Hey, this spring, uh, I'm, we're going to make it happen. We're finally ready to make a move. What I'm telling you is prices have been generally flat, if not slowly upwardly mobile in DFW most of this year. I do not think that will remain the case in 2024. I think we're going to see a little more optimism, a little more competition, a little more activity, and you're going to see those prices bounce back hard especially in the most desirable places. Hard, not meaning like immediately post-COVID hard, but like a lot a lot faster growth than 2023 and 2022. So do you want to wait for everyone to come rushing back and drive prices way up? Not as a buyer, you don't. If you're a seller and a buyer, you don't. I don't think you want to get stuck with that. Um, now, if you're downsizing, maybe you're not in quite as big of a hurry. This is one of those moments where people are like, hey, that's a real estate guy that didn't say now, 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 because we're telling you the truth. If you're a seller, I don't think you need to be in a massive hurry this year, but we also don't know what might happen politically, internationally. So I don't know how long these things might last, but this is kind of how I'm seeing it right now. So if I was a buyer, I would probably be in a pretty big hurry right now to take advantage of rates as they come, they've already come down a good bit but competition hasn't spiked. It's gone up, but it hasn't spiked, mostly just because of the holiday and the traditional stereotype on buying seasons. So I think you have maybe till Valentine's Day before people kind of flip their thinking to like, okay, spring market, springtime, mm -hmm. here it comes to go get a house whose value has not grown as much, even though rates have come down and might come down, you could refinance again later, but you're already a, a, an interest rate point or more down from the high. Does that make sense? Yes. Can you clarify for me <clears throat> how buying, like being a buyer and being a seller, how those don't coincide together in the market? Like when you're telling me you should be ready to buy, but maybe hold off on selling. Well, don't I need people to sell their house so that I can go buy? Yeah, you do. Which is why we've had such a weird stalemate stagnation in the marketplace. Because a lot of people were like, hey, I don't want to sell because I have a 2.9% interest rate. Mm -hmm. I, do, I want to emotion, like my life says, right. we want another bedroom. We want to be on the golf course. We want to be on more land. We want to be over here or over there. But it feels intellectually, mathematically unwise because I've got like an all-time low interest rate and I'd have to go get a not all-time low interest rate to buy. Or I bought low and it feels like I'd have to buy high right now. So that's all logical thinking. 
but life goes on uh, and there's strategies to benefit in these situations. And like I said, we've had, you know, hundred plus people this year that we've helped take advantage of those strategies. I think in June of 2024, those people are going to be like, oh my gosh, thank you mm. for educating me and helping me make that move then as opposed to now. Mm. You know how great people feel that bought beautiful forever homes in like late 2020? They feel amazing. At the time, they were like, oh my gosh, my hair's on fire. This is crazy. Right now, they're like, ha ha. I got in while the getting was good. Yeah, That's how I think so people grateful. are going to feel mid to late 2024. They're going to be like, dang it. Why did I? There was this like little lull. Mm. The COVID market went nuts. And then there was this Arr! hit the brakes. Why didn't I buy while everybody was hitting the brakes? Because here we go again. Why didn't I upsize? The answer is I was afraid of rates. I was afraid to look stupid. Now, some people should be waiting. Like if you're not financially ready or your family's not ready or your finances aren't in order, like clearly there's wise choices to be made. But if you're ready and you're just afraid to make the wrong choice, I think this window is running out, but it's here. It's here right now for maybe another 30, 45, 60 days, maybe. That feels like a fast turnaround, Todd. It does. We don't get to pick these things. But I think when the stereotypical, here comes the spring market. Yeah. When you start planning for spring break, which lots of people already are, you're like, you know, but when you're like, okay, the, you know, kids are back to school here. They're about to be out again. That's when people's brain kind of turns back on to real estate. I, I, If I was buying in the current world, I would not want to wait to compete in that market. Now, I could be wrong about what's going to happen, but the Fed has said we're going to lower rates three times. Wall Street, the stock market, has responded very favorably for the most part. The forecasts are that we're not going to have a true technical recession all of a sudden. Now, again, I'm just gathering the data and telling you what I see and what we call. We make thousands of phone calls every week to people wanting to buy and sell. And people are saying, hey, I, I think we're finally ready. I think we're going to do it like next month. I would try to beat all of that. And I think it could have tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars of benefit to the people that do that. And if you want to do that, give us a call. 214-310-0008 at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. 214-310-0008. Call or text or go online. ToddTremontiTeam.com or just Google Todd Tremonti. Spell it as best you can. You'll find us. Uh, click any button, fill out any form, call or text any phone number. The entire month of January, we're setting aside afternoons. Of course, we can find some other times, but afternoons are ideal for a Zoom meeting or ideally you come into the office. We sit down, we give you 30 to 90 minutes of our time and our expertise to help provide clarity and help create a strategy for you for anything you want to do related to your real estate 2024 and beyond. But let's do that in January so you don't walk around or lose sleep all year, not knowing, being unsure, being frustrated, being confused. Let's help you get clarity one afternoon in January, 30 to 90 minutes, no charge, no obligation, no commitment required. Just text the word strategy 214-310-0008, or you can call us 214-310-0008, or you can go to touchmoneyteam.com. Click any button, fill out any form, call or text any phone number on that website. You can read 700 and something reviews. You can fill out a form to find out if you're ready to buy, fill out a quiz if you're ready to sell. If you're out of the market, there's a little quiz called the Texas Fit Finder. You can find out if Texas or DFW is a good fit for you. All that is online at touchmoneyteam.com. But the easiest thing to do is just to text the word strategy. We'll set you up for a free strategy session in January to 214-310-0008. It's a good reminder because we're always talking about not waiting. Like you wait to people wait too late. Yeah. And if you, you cannot start that conversation right. too early. And if but you just start having it, almost everybody waits too late. And I think I, I guess I was just thinking of a friend who um, wasn't really looking and then found a house and things happened really quickly. Can you dispel like the fears and the anxieties around like when you say take advantage of the next 60 days? Like, how can we? make a move on this kind of stuff and not be afraid. Like, by the way, your friend is everyone's friend. That's most people. 
Right. Right. Like literally the real estate agent that's like, hey, just call me when you're ready. Right. <laughs> They're not in business in six months. Right. Now that sounds obnoxious because you're like, quit calling me. But that's how life happens. Yeah. It's like we were thinking about buying and then we saw a movie with a scene about moving and we were like, you know, maybe we, we should, should do, do that. that. We drove the neighborhood, stumbled into an open house and yep. bought a house. Like, that's wait, wait, what? That's exactly what? That's it. how it happens to everyone. Yeah. Like we bought our property on acreage. I've always wanted that. We've made videos about how I've dreamt about it since a little kid. We went out to the, to some family land one weekend and the whole three hour drive home, I'm telling my wife, why have we not done this yet? And she's like, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we can. Right. And within like six weeks, we bought a total dump. And then over a decade plus, that's become the dream. You know, yeah. but that's how these things happen. So it's Okay. You can give yourself permission. Now, you should probably take advantage of a free strategy session and make sure that your ducks are, in fact, in a row and that things are in order and you're not making a huge mistake because that's possible. People do that too. But that is how these things happen, right? Mm -hmm. It's not very rarely is it the slow, methodical, and in, in nine months, we're going to do this thing, and then in nine months, you do the thing. That's just not how life is complicated. It's okay. You're not like irrational or irresponsible if that's how you do things. But if you have a strategy session right now and say, look, we're thinking about this two years from now, you'll alleviate so much foolishness and, and, and anxiety and sense of regret and, and lack of confidence and this, this sense of like, am I being an idiot? Am I being selfish? Are we crazy? You can alleviate not all, but, but most of that with data and information and, and advocacy and encouragement and leadership and guidance from a team of really incredible people who are fully committed to being full-time real estate professionals, specializing in buyers or sellers, specializing in Dallas or Fort Worth, and really specializing in the most desirable neighborhoods, as well as properties with big backyards all across DFW. You can go to toddtremonteteam.com or you can get one of those free strategy sessions one afternoon in January in person, on Zoom, or on the phone. Just text STRATEGY to 214-310-0008. 214-310-0008. When the time comes to buy or sell, you're going to want two things. Number one, you're going to want a great title company that gets it right all the time. That's Republic Title. Check them out online at republictitle.com. And if you're buying, you I believe you should get a home warranty. You should sleep a little bit better at night, especially that first year in your house, knowing that the basic systems in your house are covered. You can make one phone call, pay one small trip fee, and they'll handle fixing the dishwasher or the sink or, you know, whatever basic system in the house is annoying you that first year as you're getting to know your house and maybe beyond. And you can do that at hellosuper.com, super home warranty and our friend Christine Crowley over there. That's hellosuper.com for your home warranty, republictitle.com for your title insurance and your closing and your settlement and all that stuff because it really, really does matter. Now, if you have other questions about real estate, you can call or text right now, 214-310-0008. We are all over the interwebs, all of them, all the time. You can check out our social media. Just look up Todd Tremonti. There'll be some variation of Todd Tremonti basically on every platform. You can find us on YouTube. Just look up Todd Tremonti. Hundreds and hundreds of videos, thousands of hours of educational uh, content, reels, videos. We got blog articles. We got 700 and something reviews. We got 20 plus years. We, I've written books. We've hosted conferences. I've been on podcasts. We have our podcast. Look, we're doing our very best every day, every week, every month, every year to earn your trust. When it comes time to buy or sell, yes, we want to be your realtor, your broker, if you're a fit for us and we're a fit for you, especially if you're wanting to buy and or sell in, in the favorite neighborhoods across DFW, as well as buy a home with a really big backyard, half an acre to 10 acres ish. We are here for you. We want to be the first person you think of, the first person you call, the first person you trust, the person you would introduce to your friends, family, and neighbors. But we also know that there's hundreds of thousands and millions of people that don't need to buy or sell a house, and we want to be a valuable resource to you as well. We would like to be someone that you say, they have added value in my life, really with no benefit to them. They have been a kind, thoughtful, uh, intelligent expert contributor. That's our goal. That's our passion. We feel like that's our calling. 
So if we can help you with anything, please don't hesitate. Call or text 214-310-0008 or go online to touchreminderteam.com. And by the way, find out what your home would sell for right now and under a minute at touchreminderteam.com. And of course, never forget. Google Todd Tremonti and check out over 700 five-star reviews. Yes, I promised my kids they would all be on the show today. Happy New Year, folks. Merry Christmas. We got all kinds of stuff going on. If you've got questions about 2024 real estate or your 2024 real estate, you can call us right now, 214-310-0008, or you can text the word strategy, and we'll set you up for a free strategy session, 30 minutes to 90 minutes. just depends on what you need, what questions you have, what we need to show you. We can give you broker-like access to the MLS and show you what's for sale, what's for lease, what prices are, what's happening in different areas. We can, of course, also give you our Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team 2024 forecast, what we think precisely will happen in your area to your property or what you'll have to pay to get what you want where you want, especially if it's in a desirable neighborhood in DFW or if it is a home on a really big lot, like half an acre to 10 acres. We love to do it, we specialize in it. If that's what you're wanting to do, buy or sell it, you should be thinking about us. 214-310-0008, that's 214-310-0008, or touchreminderteam.com. What do you think, Courtney? What what do people need to know? What do the people uh, have to have in their mind going into 2024? Well, Todd, I mean, leave us with like some vision for the new year. Listen, I think 2024 is going to have a more positive vibe. 2020 was an absolute brain bending shock to the system, right? Just like COVID and all the things that none We're of us have ever experienced. It. We are not over it. I just right? collectively, it's like, not People okay. are like, what? 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 Four, <laughs> three to four years into what the heck? Right. It's crazy. I do believe, even though it's going to be a presidential election and all that stuff, I think 2024 is going to be the beginning of like, you know what? I'm not dealing, I'm cutting this, this, and that out of my life where yes. I'm going to die. Yes. And I am focused on this and this. Like, this is what's important and the rest of it, forget it. If real estate is part of that, pl- golly, let us help you not have a panic attack mm-hmm. about that. Let us help you not drown in the anxiety of that. Even if you're not buying or selling. We, we want to help you with that. I usually don't use the words let us because it is, it's a gift to you, to be honest. We can give you the gift of clarity and peace of mind and sleep, anything around your house. And then if there's other stuff that you feel like we can connect you to someone or help you with a kind, generous thought, do that. And the last thing I'll leave you with is don't punk out in 2024. Mm. Don't tap out and take whatever the world gives you. Go make your life awesome. Go choose the life you want to live. If we can help you with that, we want to help you. Be a great mom, be a great dad, be a great parent. I know life kicks you in the teeth sometimes. Just keep fighting. Keep getting up. Don't quit. God loves you. We love you. We want what's best for you. Don't give up. If everything doesn't work out on your resolution in week one, just start over. Keep trying. We'll be here for you all year. TotramoneyTeam.com. Have a very happy new year.